Ruth here and I'm opening something brand new today uh, when I finally upload this video anyway which will probably be sometime next year but what I'm op uh, opening did I just say uploading something new? Or op oh who cares uh, it's like almost 12 uh, midnight so um, I'm just doing this while everything's quiet so I'm opening this it is a uh, the Caster Chronicles uh, and it is um, made by the um, Force of Will TCG people. And I think you know, I heard around that they changed their company name to Force of Will. Anyway, but um, yes, I uh, mainly got this because I like the artwork. I have no idea how to play it, never heard of it before. And I've never collected any of the Force of Will cards either. So, this is completely brand new. Mainly collecting it because, you know, artwork is very nice, as you see. So this is, I also bought, actually, the uh, other trial deck, which is this one. And I also bought the booster box. So uh, I don't know if it's a one-time buy or if I'll buy any more if any more come out or not. I don't know, but um, I thought since it's something new and it's, you know, very pretty and stuff. So as you see, they have their own uh, website and Facebook page. And obviously, as you can see, it is the English version. And my nose is really itchy, so the uh, hearing sniffles or me scratching my nose, it's, it's itchy. And for some reason, it really gets itchy after a nose bleed, too, for some reason. Anyway, so this trial deck, or starter deck, as it you know, it says on the side here, it says, The Caster Chronicles Starter Deck. So, uh, this deck is called Wings of Anger. And it says, Burn enemies to cinders with furious flames. And the contents of each uh, deck, I guess, is a pre-built deck, quick roll guide, slash play sheet, and rule sheet. They also have a card list here, like how many and the card number or code and the card name. So, let's, uh, let's just get into it, shall we? How do I open this thing? Okay, there are tape. Oh, yeah, scissors are over there. Uh, hang on. Um, so if you're wondering why there is my Slytherin duffel bag in the back, it's because I figured that I wouldn't put a Pokemon background for... Well, because I'm not opening Pokemon. So, it's a bit of a moot point that. I'm just squish it a bit so I can move the camera so I can slide across the floor to get the scissors without completely toppling the camera over. Alright, so I've got the scissors. I totally forgot to bring them over with me. Surprise, surprise. Okay, so move that back closer. And let's slice through the uh, sides if I... I did. Okay, so that side's done. At least I don't forget to do both sides. Because <laughs> that would just be embarrassing. Okay, and that doesn't have one. Okay, so I'll try to keep the pack art, box art, or whatever, so I can stick in my scrapbook for, you know, sticking in my scrapbook. So I I don't know, I'll probably put this in a separate a leverage file or something. Because obviously it's a different thing. So we'll get to the cards in a minute. Um, here's a rule guide sheet thing. It's got lots of small print. So like you need a magnifying glass for this thing. Okay, so like the basic is shuffle deck, decide turnover, draw hand, set orbs, whatever that means, hand change, and game start. Win conditions. When an opponent loses, you win the game. <laughs> yeah. If both players lose at the same time, the game is a draw. Okay. If a player with no orbs takes an attack, they lose. If a player cannot draw, the required number of cards during the draw phase, they lose. Okay. 
The deck uh, must have exactly 50 cards, no more or less. You may not include more than four non-caster cards of the same name. You may not include more than four caster cards of the same name and level. Didn't they kind of say that already? Alright, oh, non-caster and caster, okay. So, uh, well, it seems like there's a lot of info here. Anatomy of a term. Recovery phase, draw phase, call phase, main phase, battle phase, end phase. Yes, I'm not sure if I'm going to learn how to do this because obviously I wouldn't really play with anybody. Um, since I'm mainly clapping this, as I said, for. What's it called? Uh, card art. So, um, yes. Well, my mind doesn't really work at this time of day anyway, really. So I'll just put this back in there for now. So let's look at this. I work better with pictures anyway. Well, the back of this, I guess, is the game sheet anyway. Good. Let's have a look-see. See, if it's in colors, Pictures. I look at that better for some reason. So there are caster cards, servant cards, conjure cards, and barrier cards. It's got how to read a card cost. There's like card info there. What each thing means. Card positions. Covered, rested, reversed, whatever that is. You got preparing the game, turn flow, and what they mean in more detail. And what a, what any player can do. So, uh, the playmat sheet or whatever looks like this. Ooh. It does look very pretty. So you got a caster zone, got an orb zone up here in the field. Is made up of your and your opponent's servant and cluster of a zone. Huh. Servant zone. Servants and barriers are played here. Graveyard, obviously, and a deck zone. So this is very pretty. Also, we got a mini turn thing there. So yeah, that's what that looks like. Now on to the cards. Main reason why you came here. It's very nice uh, packaging anyway. Ooh, that looks pretty. Nice. Though for some reason it sort of reminds me of the um, card captures anime. Okay, so uh, plastic over there. We sh shall open this um, when I can open this thing. It's very tightly compacted. <laughs> oh, here it is. There is a little... Huh. They've got it in like a team bag. Okay, that's, that's easy. Very kind of like a makeshift uh, card holder there. Anyway. It's very nice holographic. Down a bit. It's very nice. So, and the uh, wand kind of reminds me of Sailor Moon. <laughs> okay. I mean, got this also, you know, the magical girl type of thing going on here. Very nice art. Uh, lovely wings. Nice dress, I guess, too. Uh, let's see. So, this is. Uh, they got like a flavor text thing going, so like, Manami san thanks for always being so kind. So I guess that's like little quotes or whatever. Then like, title I guess of the card is uh, Passion Wing. And the name is uh, Tsubasa Koga. Huh. And you got your level one thing there. 
no idea what these things are for because I didn't really really read that. But uh, yeah, so I'm guessing. So I just read the name. And the, I'm, I'm guessing not all of them have this name. Well, it says it's a rare, by the way. Oh, so this is another rare. It says Crimson Nicola. So Nagi Solara. So that is very nice. And a, another one, which is also rare. And this is Parueta, I guess. Yeah, Honoka Fuyuki. Okay, now we have a normal. Still says it's rare, but it's not holographic. Two, three, three of her. Then we have Corella Jun Fujinami. Two of this one. This is also rare. I don't know if all of them are rare or not, but. Then we have two of this one. So the Kiro Centura. And then it has a Shino Hidaka. Let's just do it this way because I'll leave it in order. Oh, these are different on the back of these ones. Cool. Slightly creepy with the silhouette there, but uh, still cool. So, as I said, that one. So, this one is uh, Shura, Shura, Angelica, Riko Kohashi. She's got two. And another Crimson Nicola. Nagi Soa. Yeah, so same as the uh, holographic version. So she's got one. We've got another Passion Ring wing, but it's different art and it's a different flavor text here. And I guess it's different effect as well, so. Two of that one. We got another, uh, same as the holographic one, or one of those. Here we've got two of this one, which is a uh, flame rouge, or flame rogue. Hmm. Anyway, Risa Ibushi. And here, I guess, well, actually, I have no idea. Is it an orb card, is it, or something? No, oh, it's Servant, sorry. I can't read. So this is a disembodied soul. Like, not creepy whatsoever. <laughs> so you got three of those. Another Servant is a straw effigy. So basically, it looks like a voodoo doll on fire. So that's two of those ones. And these are common, by the way. By the looks of it. We've got explosive bamboo. Yep. That sure is explosive. That's all right. Okay, two of those ones. We got little match girl. Okay, now well that little girl is creepy looking. That's for sure. I guess she's made out of matches or something because the legs look wooden. Or it's just a skeleton. Like, uh, no, I have no idea. Anyway, so yeah. We got four of her. Or it. Yeah. Here is a tanuki of Kachi Kachi Mountain. Very freaky. Three of that one. Patience bag, okay, with the tongue sticking out and big fish lips there. Two of that one. So we have a uh, Yoshitsune, like a samurai kind of ghost thing in the background. Hm. 
Anyway, that's pretty cool. Okay. Two of those ones. We got a fire wheel. Four of those ones. We got a salamander. Two of those ones. A furious dragon. Hmm. Looks like it's got lots of eyes. Or something. Okay. So, uh, same on the back here. Uh, Kindle the Spirit. This, I guess, is a conjure card. There's Fire Arrow. Insight Ferocity. Three. And, well, okay, I have no idea what this is for. Same on both sides, it seems. Hmm. Cool, though. No idea the use. But still very cool. So yeah, so that is everything. I quite like the, uh... The art is very pretty and very, you know... Goes with the theme and all that. Okay, so... Look out for the uh, next one, which I'll probably upload in the next time I upload a video. So thank you for watching. If you like stuff more, over and out.